Jadavgad was constructed in 1710. So that down there is Jadavgad Fort. As you can see, it was built in an area which is easily accessible. It was the residence of Pilaji Jadav Rao, a trusted Maratha Sobedar. Over the massive Mahadarwaja is a wooden Nakharkhana. The ceremonial Tutari salute of the Adil Shahi Sultans now heralds our arrival and traditional welcome. Arches support offset lintels. This angled entrance with uneven steps is designed to slow down attackers. Horses and elephants reached the Mahadarwaja on these broad steps. The inner fortification is entered through this Gadicha Darwaja. The Balai Kila is where the fort commander resided. This is the highest section of the fort, the most well fortified. These austere basalt walls are pierced by vertical loopholes. There are a set of Mughal arches over the main entrance and there are two bays with what look like Bangla arches under the Maharani and Maharaja suites. The Balle Darwaza opens onto the Kund through this tortuous passage. So this Kund provided a, a vital water point the During the renovation, they've even preserved these ancient neem trees. This shrine is 300 years old and it has been preserved in its original position inside the fort. From the lofty sunlit kund, we descend deep into the dungeons, where prisoners despaired to see the light of day. Yeah. This cast iron cannon is about a meter long. Nice knobbed cascabel. This is the flint hole. And here we've got some markings also, the number of the cannon. This would be a marking of where it was made. It tapers from the breech to the muzzle. The muzzle is a little flared out with some reinforcing rings. The ball would have been about five centimeters in diameter. The old stables is now a museum covered with intricately carved woodwork. Purandar Darwaja overlooks the rolling Saswad hills to the south. The basalt stone which was used to construct this fort came from this particular quarry. It subsequently filled with rainwater and not known to dry. In a corner of the grounds is a temple that has seen 300 years of uninterrupted daily worship. The Ganesh temple was constructed even before the foundations of the fort were laid. So this was Jadavgad Fort, a reflection of a bygone era. We hope you enjoyed watching this as much as we did bringing it to you. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and we'll see you at our next destination.
Focus. <laughs>